Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is the Dizzy Viper and welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I make my grass shader. But before I start the video I gotta give credit to Warp who actually showed me this technique and allowed me to do a tutorial about it and I'm very thankful for that so thank you Warp. I will leave a link to his Instagram in the description down below. So let's get right into the tutorial. Alright so first of all I'm going to start off with a plane and an octane scatter. So like that. Then we're gonna make a forest or multiflora. And I really like the preset of the grass patch. That's one of my favorites. And we're just gonna put that into our octane scatter right there and use our plane as our surface right there and put it on surface like that. So it looks pretty good. Maybe make the plane a little bigger so we get a little more detail. Wait, so like this and just set the count a little more. Maybe 8,000 is too much. Yeah, that's better. Maybe to 3000 to cover up that hole. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, so we set our viewport uh, to path tracing just in case you missed it. And now last but not least, we need a random effector to actually um, affect our octane scatter right there. But before we put in the random effector, we just uh, turn off the position and turn on the rotation and set the rotation to 360 on the H like that. There we go. So now our grass is randomly rotated 360 degrees and that's what breaks up this, the, the pattern of our grass. We don't want all our grass uh, cover, uh, going the same way. So now we're going to build our grass shader. So what we're going to do to do that is we're going to go create a new octane material and go straight into the node editor. So now create an image texture like that. That's going to be our diffuse color. You can use um, different grass textures by Forrester. They are also very good. I'm gonna use uh, grass textures by Wispark. Um, so here is my blade diffuse material, like that. We're gonna put that straight into our diffuse channel. Then we're gonna create a second image texture. And this time we will use the blade translucency texture. Uh, in Forrester you probably won't have a translucency texture, so what you can do is either use a slightly brighter version of that same texture, which Forrester often has, or we can also just go into Photoshop and brighten the texture and add some saturation to it. So what I forgot to mention here actually is set your power of your translucency texture to 3.75, not 1. So this image texture with the translucency material, we're gonna add a color correction to that. So let's just plug that in, like that, and go straight into the transmission channel. So we're gonna leave the hue on 0 and just turn the saturation down to like 8, uh, 0 0.9. Or maybe 0 0.85, that might be better. And plug that straight into our medium channel. And the default settings on the absorption medium are completely fine. Next we're gonna create a second octane material, this time we're gonna make it glossy. Right there. And straight away add a roughness of about 0 0.15. Like that. So now let's plug the diffuse texture also into our diffuse channel on the bottom material. So now let's create a second image texture and just use the specular material that we have right here. So since you also don't have a specular texture inside Forrester, you can also do that inside Photoshop. I will show you how to make a translucency texture and a specular texture at the end of this tutorial. So the specular material is also going to be plugged in right into a color correction, like this. Color correction goes straight into the specular. And the only thing you gotta change in the color correction is basically the gamma, which is gonna be set to 0.4. So now it's time to mix the material, so we create a mixed material, put material 1, material 2. Now next we're going to create an absorption medium, like that. We are done with our grass shader, so let's see what it looks like. So here we go, this is our finished grass shader. I think it looks pretty nice, especially when you set the daylight to like a, a very late daytime sunset or something. It looks really nice, I think, as you can see, uh, you get all these little... Uh, fireflies, well not fireflies, but reflections of the grass, and I think it looks all really great. So now, as promised, I will show you how to make a translucency map and a specular map inside Photoshop using Forrester textures. So inside Photoshop you're just gonna choose the grass texture that you like from your Forrester textures. I'm gonna use this one, I really like that one, so we're gonna use this, like that. So first we're gonna create our translucency texture, which is essentially just a brighter and more saturated version of the original texture. So we're gonna go into our curves editor, like that, and just put the, the middle channel up a bit. Just like that. Maybe a little less. Like this. And now go into our saturation settings and just put the saturation up a bit. Like this. 
maybe maybe a little like that and maybe I also put the curves a little down on the bottom I forgot that maybe like this yeah this looks pretty good so that's all you gotta do for the translucency material and now we're gonna create a specular texture so all you gotta do to do that is basically set the saturation to zero like this because we only need black and white so again just go into the curves editor and this time use these two at the bottom so just go put the white a little lower till actually you can't see all the details anymore just like that and put the black also a little up a bit like maybe there a little less yeah something like that so now we have our specular texture already so just for comparison you will have to, you will see now so this is the original texture specular channel and translucency channel so that was the tutorial on how to make a realistic grass shader inside Cinema 4D and Octane Render. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you Warp for showing me this amazing technique. And I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.